Just this past month, I had the pleasure of doing a very special edition of Florida Foodie Podcast. As, che as Chef Richard Blaze dubbed it, the episode was, quote, Chefs in the Wild. I like that. And we talked about his culinary journey from fast food to fame. Today, we get to continue that chat indoors, which is nice since it's not exactly the most beautiful day outside. <laughs> yes, he's true. celebrity <laughs> chef, restaurateur, TV personality, and author. Welcome, Chef Richard Blaze. Thanks for be coming back over for Thank us. Thank you so much for having me and letting me inside this time, yeah. which is right. amazing. Yes. And uh, I've been enjoying my time in the green room. So much so mm -hmm. that that's where you you're, you keep your fridges. Oh, oh yes. you can check out. The I fridge. judged everyone's lunch. Mm -hmm. I judged okay. everyone's lunch. There's hummus. Someone brought pasta salad. There's protein shakes in there, and yeah. there's like three rogue mozzarella sticks. Yeah, um, yeah, those Is mozzarella it? sticks. I don't know who they belong <laughs> oh, to. Oh, they've yeah. been there for a bit. Did okay, you see my rotisserie enough. chicken? I, oh, amazing. <laughs> so, so, so much healthy food in there, though. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're doing the right thing. Thank yeah, you. I if, made it all. If there's one that has molds, because I keep forgetting mine. So. Oh, that happens. You know, that happens. It is what it is. <laughs> so you're back. I mean, yes. You just love being here. You want to come back again. So how, how is Flo Four Flamingos going? Four Flamingos is going great. We have an event tonight so people can come say hi at 5 to 7. I think we were, we're calling it a... Flamingo. A Flamingo, <laughs> which is going to be great. Our friends at Maker's Mark are going to be there. So it's going to be bourbon and bites and blaze. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, that, that works, I guess. Yeah. What bites go with bourbon? Well, I mean, it is a meat and greets. Okay. So steak. Oh, that's what we're. That's you are what we're just doing. You're marketing to me, and I just love it so much. It's I'm a dad. That's what it is. Like, yeah. It just comes with the territory. When we talk about the Orlando foodie scene, for anyone who's not familiar, Four Four Flamingos. That's your new restaurant at the High Regency Grand Cypress. And what's the whole flavor of Four Flamingos and the inspiration of that? Sure. So it's uh, it's vintage Florida, and like whatever your memory is of like your first visit growing up. You know, for me, it might've been like that first time I had an orange from Florida mm. or uh, I had stone, stone crab crabs, claws, right? Yeah. Which by the way, that season is close to ending. So you gotta come in if uh -oh. you want your stone crab claws. Okay. Um, but whatever that memory is, uh, and then even vintage as far as like the glassware and the plates. Yes. I, I like to say that it, you know, uh, some of the plateware looks like it should be on the Golden Girls okay. set. Okay, yes. yes. Um, like like the, just that vintage tapping into, uh, you know, grandma's cabinet, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, I feel I, that your drinks give me that vintage, like, beach hotel, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, it just so great. Right? A vacation or a staycation. We have so many locals that are coming to the restaurant. And who doesn't love, like, little frilly umbrellas in their drinks? Yeah, yeah. that's I mean, the be best honest. thing about living here <laughs> is that you can feel like you're on vacation when you're not. Mm-hmm. And when you look at going out to any restaurant right now, what you're trying to give people is just that taste of Florida, whether you're local, whether you're visiting, you can come in there and just sort of go into this almost back in time experience. Exactly. I mean, it, it is, it's relaxation, right? And again, it's whatever, you know, your memory is of that first time that you visited Florida or again, growing up here. Um, and for me, it might've been even something like, uh, you know, my wife's family is from Florida and uh, her grandmother would always get Maine lobsters shipped in. Now, it's not a Florida ingredient, but it's a memory that I yeah. have. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we have Maine lobster, lobsters shipped in every day and uh, delicious food. Uh, the you know, sauces? Fresh seafood. So the so uh, sauces. We got yacht sauce yacht on the back, is which is, uh, it's, it's a Richard Blaze branded jarred <laughs> sauce. Sorry, I had to. So we can buy it. You can buy it. You can go in there the and have it. What's the essence of it? It sounds, it it's sounds like, rich. It's like, it's like yes. a, a sweet chili barbecue sauce, Ooh. right? Okay. Like you're just sailing on the ocean and I don't, eating stone crab claws. Or... Fancy. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> you can come let's, close. Let's and visit four that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so when we did our podcast, it was obviously frigid outside. It was <laughs> back in January. You said that your favorite meal always, your dish at the restaurant always changes because you're the menu is always changing. So mm. what's like your new favorite dish three months later? Well, I mean, my favorite dish just as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. right now is um, is our swordfish chop because it's our most popular thing. Mm. Like you always have this one item that becomes like the signature of the restaurant. You don't really know it. Like a band doesn't create an album to like you know, to know which hit song it is, right? right so the hit right. song has been the swordfish chop and it's a, a blackened swordfish bone in chop. Mm. with some brown butter lemon sauce. Very, very simple, very elegant, and really speaks to the theme of the restaurant. When you said that, Trooper Steve came rolling out <laughs> of the weather office and was really engaged on that. By the way, mm. Trooper Steve does more than everything that he does on air. He was, he's the host in the, in the green room. Yes. He met me at the door, and <laughs> yeah. he's just been everything. Mm -hmm. He'll probably help walk you out. I mean, he does do a lot around here that he doesn't get credit for. And so you're also super busy with TV. I mean, you just finished Next Level Chef, which was 
awesome. I mean, what's next for you? Yeah, well, Next Level Chef uh, got picked up for season two, so that's amazing. Um, you know, to get to a season two uh, is, is, is a big deal. Um, we're, I'm working on my third cookbook, which is all uh, healthy food, which will be great. So uh, good, from, right? It's called it's, So Good. So Good was the last cookbook, okay. which you can get signed at Four Flamingos. Uh, nice. And the next one uh, is not titled yet. It should be out by the holiday season. Flamingo. There it is, the yeah. Flamingo tonight at 5 o'clock. Let's do <laughs> yes, it. Yes, yes, and there's still openings for that. And there mm -hmm. are recipes in your cookbook that people who aren't culinary gifted can make? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 Asking for, I, for a friend. First of all, you're, you're hustling me. I, I, I think you're pretty good in the kitchen. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I think, actually, that's one of the things I've learned as a celebrity chef is, like, not to do just restaurant food that, like, and especially during the pandemic, too, teaching people how to cook and teaching people yeah. the 101 basics of food is a big deal for me. So, yes, easy recipes that anyone can make. We oh, love I, it. Oh, I thought of a pun. Yeah. Okay. Staycation. I need like steak. Staycation. Steak She's the queen of puns. Mm. That's why I love him so much. <laughs> and when I found out you were coming, I was like, yes, <sighs> more puns. Well, Perfect. please come back. We just enjoy having you. We run out of time. We want to talk to you maybe next time you come in for a marathon or something. L hey, listen, uh, for last time I was in the parking lot, today I'm near the desk. Yeah. Next time I'm behind the Ooh. desk. Let's go live Ooh. at the restaurant <laughs> next time. How about that? Let's, let's there do you it. Go. Let's do it. I like that. Producers, you watch us. Right. Listen. All right. Thank you so much. And you can listen, by the way, to the full interview with Chef Richard Blaze right now on Florida Foodie. We go into depth on how he started. How, how would you call yourself at McDonald's? A, a the poissonnier. Poissonnier. Ah. Chinese fish cook in French. That's right. Mm. Head to clickorlando.com slash Florida Foodie. You can find Florida Foodie wherever you stream your podcast. Thanks, Chef.